Hi, this is uh, my video on Beast Quest Series 1. Um, I've read up to um, Stealth, which is number 24, before, and um, I just stopped reading because I was bored of them. And now I started up about, I don't know, about 8 weeks ago, and, and now I'm on 19 next. So. Um, the, the first book of Series 4. But in this one, this video is on Series 1. Right, first of all, I've got um, the book with, oh, the first three in it. It's called The Quest Begins. It's pretty good. Um, Ferno, the first, Ferno, the Fire Dragon's the first one. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it because it's, it's not great, but I'd say you need to read it just so you know, like, know what how the quest began sort of thing and they meets Alina and stuff which in in the wolf silver so yeah I'd give it about eight and a half stars out of ten and yeah I'd recommend it. Second there's um Sepin the C um Sepin or something like that. Um yeah it's pretty good not as good as Ferno, but I used to really like it. I thought I used to think it was funny, but not any, not really anymore. But I still like it because, like, how Seprin when he frees him, that he helps Tom with other beasts and that. So we yeah, I had to give it about a uh, four. No, I've left a four, um, uh, seven out of ten. Third, there's Arcta, the mountain giant. Um, right, um, it's all right. Everyone goes on about how it's so good, but it's not amazing. Um, I'd give it about a six. Out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, so then that's the first three quest begins. And then now on to Tagus, the horseman. Um it's a pretty important book. It's not amazing but it's neat to read it. There's a pretty like quite a lot of important stuff that you need to know in it. So yeah, I'd recommend that and I'd give it about a uh, seven and a half. Um yeah. That's the fourth one. Then it's Nanook the the snow monster. Pretty good. Um not great, but yeah. Anyway, there's not much to say about it. <laughs> um, but I'd give it a six out of ten, and I'd, I wouldn't really recommend it. But and then six. Is Apos the Flaming Bird? Um, pretty good. Um, it's the first time that Tom ever meets Marvel, Mar Malvo or whatever, and the the battles is pretty cool. So yeah, I'd give that about a eight and a half out of ten. I've also got the bumper edition for series one, Vedra and Crimin, Crimon, and the Twin Beasts of Avantia. And the first six, like they're all, they've been like cursed, 
Um, his paws has got him at that ring around his foot. I can't remember what it does to him, but anyway. And then that it makes him go mad. And that one, Nanook has got a bell around his neck, which makes him go mad. Um, Tagus has got a, a horseshoe or something that's really sore, which makes him like go mental. Ark has got a blindfold on, which makes him go mental. And Septon has got um, an enchanted chain around him. Um, and the Inferno's got a collar, enchanted collar, around his neck, which makes him go mental. But anyway, Mar Marvel still hasn't um, got to the John Clemen, and basically what Tom is meant to do is just get them to the mountains up north or something, which will be safe. And so Mar Marvel won't be able to capture them and, and curse them. And I'd say that's my this is my be my favourite book because all of the six good beasts of Avantir are in it helping Tom. Which is cool. So and yeah, it's just well good. Yeah, so that's that for I'd I'd give that a ten out of ten. That's that for the whole for series one, and um overall I'd give it a um seven and a half out of ten. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.